All right, it is gear spin tools, and we're going to take a look at the Hercules and the DeWalt 5 amp hour battery packs. Uh, of course, Hercules, if you shopped around, you've probably seen their stuff much cheaper than a lot of their competitors, the big name brands, such as like DeWalt Milwaukee or any of those. Um, and of course, battery packs included, much cheaper. I thought it would be interesting to see, you know, are they using different cells? Uh, you know, how do the battery packs actually compare? Uh, of course, you can walk in to Harbor Freight and their battery packs are, you know, quite a bit cheaper. And then if you use any kind of deals they have going on, you can actually get the batteries for really cheap. Um, DeWalt, I'm not going to bash on them. If you shop around, if you're savvy, if you buy BOGO deals they have going on, you can actually get their battery packs for very reasonable prices as well. Now, yes, overall, they do tend to be much more expensive, especially if you walk in to a store and buy just a single battery pack by itself. But yeah, let's um, take them apart and see how they differ. My predictions is I think most all these type of batteries are probably going to use like a Samsung 18650 cell, but let's tear it open. So both of them use just uh, security little screws here, four of them on the bottom. Um, now, of course, the DeWalt, it's got a hard plastic out shell on it, um, does have the battery gauge. And I'd say this feels like a pretty good quality battery. The Harbor Freight, um, I will say, I do think the materials are a little bit cheaper, um, kind of a soft plastic they use. They use a, actually a four light battery gauge. Um, nothing wrong. These batteries are going to work and get the job done. But let's open them up. Going to use a drill speed of the process. The DeWalt actually uses pretty long screws here. Just a force. All screws are the same length. Actually, those screws are the same length there for the Harbor Freight battery. Okay, four screws. If I can just wiggle them out, of course. All right, so here is the Harbor Freight and pulls right apart. And I probably should have said it, but in terms of the date the batteries were made, this is a newer pack from Harbor Freight I bought this year. And this DeWalt battery shows a 2023 date code. I think they did update some of these batteries and they might not even show XR. If I'm correct, uh, not 100% sure, they kind of been doing a lot of brand changing with some of their batteries and whatnot but here we go here is the harbor freight um actually oh shoot okay well that top part is out this is what it looks like kind of a white shielding there's the battery gauge here is the top board using some paper and they have purple looking cells so these are actually high star 3.7 volt ISR 18650. Um, I'm not an expert on battery cells, but I will say High Star, I think, tip, typically is a lower brand cell. Um, so, yeah, actually, kind of surprising. I said it, I thought they were going to be Samsung's, apparently not. So, it does appear they are using a cheaper cell, which probably is why the batteries are cheaper. Uh, but yeah, let's open up the DeWalt, see what that has to offer. And the little battery gauge went flying. But yeah, here is the DeWalt. There's the top, comes right out. And here is what this looks like. Um, there's your battery gauge. That's what the board looks like on the top. So just comparing it. Right there to the Harbor Freight. I guess this is actually the back side of the battery, but yep. 
Now I'm trying to pull it out. I will say this DeWalt battery, it is very tightly tucked in, which makes me wonder if I really want to pull it out here. But I mean, if we just look, you can see the cells are green. So typically, I imagine this is I mean, Samsung 18650 cell uh, just from that because I pulled apart like flex batteries that are the same. But yeah, let me see if I could pull this thing out here. I got it open just enough to look at the what cells they are, and it is an INR 18650 Samsung cell. So good quality battery cells in the DeWalt. Uh, Harbor Freight had the high stars in that purple, uh, which is a lower quality cell from what I know. And yeah, that pretty much sums up the, you know, Harbor Freight batteries are cheaper, you know, a name brand like DeWalt, more expensive. And yeah, it's not all just Harbor Freight in general is, you know, putting lower prices on their tools. The actual quality of their tools is not the same. DeWalt making a higher quality product, I just think from even just the battery shell itself to the cells compared to Harbor Freight. Now I'm going to say that doesn't mean Harbor Freight is a bad tool. Um, you know, you do still get a three-year warranty on their batteries, which I think is the same as DeWalt. But yeah, I mean, you know, if you're buying Harbor Freight tools, I imagine this will probably still work fine for you. Um, but, you know, do just realize these are not on the same level of quality from what you're getting to Harbor Freight compared to a name brand such as DeWalt. So definitely something to consider there. I will give a word of caution. If you open a DeWalt battery, be very careful if you're prying up. The last thing you want to do is damage a cell or puncture it. That's not going to be a good time, especially with the DeWalt being much tougher to get out. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to thank everybody for watching. Leave a comment on what you think. Leave a like on the video. And I'll see you next time.